11th problem. Transform the equation the equation four x minus three y plus twelve is equal to zero into Number one, slope intercept form second intercept form third. normal form normal form transform the equation 4x minus 3y plus 12 is equal to 0 into slope intercept form intercept form next normal form so let us have a brief discussion on this one so how to Transform a general equation into the slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form means y is equal to m x plus c form. So that means this 4 x minus 3 y plus 12 is equal to 0. We have to write in the form of y is equal to m x plus c. Intercept form. What is the intercept form? You know pretty well. That is nothing but x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. So that means it should be put in the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to one. That is the intercept form. Next, normal form. What is the normal form? X cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. So where alpha is the angle made by the perpendicular drawn from origin to the line with x axis, and whereas p is the perpendicular distance from origin to the given line. Understood now? So in x cos alpha. Plus y sin alpha is equal to p. That form is known as normal form. Okay, let us proceed to solve this problem. So now, first one is slope intercept form. slope intercept form so we know given line is 4x minus plus 12 is equal to 0 do you know what is the form of this one this is known as general form now take minus 3y that side 4x plus 12 is equal to 3y divide both sides by Three, because to get y value, so that means three y divided by three, four x plus twelve by three. Three three gets cancelled. We have y is equal to we can write four by three x plus twelve by three. Therefore, y is equal to four by three x. Plus three one ja three four ja four. How does it appear? It appears to be y is equal to m x plus c form. This is y is equal to m x plus c, where m is equal to four by three. That is the slope of the line. Where c is equal to four. That is the y intercept. So now let us go to the intercept form. Intercept form. Intercept form. Again, you consider the given equation. That is, 4x minus 3y plus 12 is equal to zero. Always remember, 
while transforming into the interset form this strategy has to be followed. So, just transfer the constant to the right hand side. So, that means 4 x minus 3 y this becomes minus 12 divide both sides by minus 12. Then what do you get? This can be written 4 x minus 3 y by minus 12 is equal to minus 12 by minus 12. Now, this can be written 4 x by minus 12 minus 3 y by minus 12 minus 12 minus 12 cancel 1. Again, this can be written x by minus 3 plus y by 4 equals to 1. So, how does it appear? It is in the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. This is known as intercept form, where a is the x intercept, b is the y intercept. Okay, understood? So, this is the intercept form. Now, let us move to the normal form, that is the third one, normal form. Normal form means given equation is 4 x minus 3 y plus 12 is equal to 0. Here also transfer 12 that side, transpose it. So, 4 x minus 3 y is equal to minus 12. Here very carefully. So, this right hand side constant value must be positive. If it is positive, neglect it. No, you need not do anything. If it is negative only, we have to make it positive. So, multiply with multiply with minus 1. So, we get minus 4 x plus 3 y is equal to 12. Generally, you may get confusion. In this problem also, generally you will divide by 12. Do not do like that. Here, we have to divide both sides by root of a square plus b square root of x coefficient square plus y coefficient square. Divide both sides by root of minus 4 square plus 3 square. 16 plus 9 that is root 25 which equal to 5. So, now that means Here we get like this minus 4 x plus 3 y by 5 is equal to 12 by 5. Again it can be rewritten as x of minus 4 by 5 plus y of 3 by 5 equal to 12 by 5. Now, it is being put in the form of x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. So, comparing with x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. p is the perpendicular distance. So, it should be positive that is the reason. So, now therefore, we get cos alpha is equal to minus 4 by 5, sin alpha is equal to 3 by 5, whereas p is equal to 12 by 5. So, completely that is all.